Hello, I'm Juliet Smith and my husband, Pastor John Smith, will come after I sing, Our God is an Awesome God. Our God is an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. God reigns. He reigns. God reigns. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. God reigns. He Our God is an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. God reigns, He reigns, God reigns. Our God is an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God, our God is an awesome God, He reigns. From heaven above with wisdom, power, and love, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God, He reigns. From heaven above with wisdom, power, and love, our God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. Hey, welcome to House of Fire presents a tribute to God today. Oh, hallelujah, he reigns. He reigns in my life. He reigns in her life. He should reign in your life. Hallelujah. Everybody out there, this is the House of Fire. Hallelujah. We're here to present you today with the story, the story about Jesus' love, how Jesus came in prayer. He was praying. First, we're going to go to Matthew 26. Matthew 26. And verse 36. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, Gethsemane, and saith unto his disciples, Sit ye here while I go pray yonder. And he took with him Peter, the two sons of Zebedee, and began to sorrowful and very heavy, to be sorrowful and very heavy. Jesus was sorrowful and very heavy. And then saith he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here, and watch with me. In other words, he's saying pray with them. As he say, and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, prayed, saying, Oh, my Father, if it be possible, 
let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thy will. And he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them sleep, and saith unto Peter, What could ye not watch me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. <clears throat> And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Excuse me. <coughs> now, he went three times with the same prayer. And we're going to call, we're going to call it an answered prayer. See, you think it's not answered because he went three times. Jesus himself went three times to pray that God lift his cup from him. The cup was for him to be beaten. The cup was for him to have thorns put on his head. The cup was for him to be nailed to the tree. The cup was for him to be crucified. The cup was for him to be jabbed in the side. The cup was for one of his friends to betray him. He took some of his friends with him to pray with him. He left one group and took the other three with him. All right. But yet, they was too tired to pray. They fell asleep, just as we do. At night before we go to bed, we get into bed before we pray. And we, and we fall asleep or we want to lay in bed and pray. Mm -hmm. But see, let me tell you, let me tell you about Jesus. Jesus went to the rock. He went up in Gethsemane to the rock mm -hmm. and he leaned against the rock and asked his father to take this burden away, uh -huh. to take this cup away. Mm -hmm. Now there's not many human moments. There's not many human moments that you see Jesus in a weakness. Mm -hmm. But Jesus already knew that his destiny was fulfilled. Mm -hmm. He came to earth to die. But let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, children out there watching this house of fire, that God knows your prayers, He knows your heart, and He knows your mind. Now, if He didn't answer His own son prayer, He didn't answer Jesus' prayer after Jesus prayed for three times, and they said He prayed so hard that the sweat came off like blood. It wasn't blood, it was just beads of sweat. Right. So let me tell you right now, when you get down on your knees and you expect God to answer your prayer, He's going to answer your prayer, but it's just not the way you want an answer. Right. The Bible says that Jesus went back a second and third time. Right. How many times do you go back to get your prayers answered? Right. How many times do you pray about the same thing over and over? You don't need to pray about it over and over. Just ask God. But sometime they tell me that when you ask God and He don't answer right away, that you have to go back again. But I said you don't have to keep going back because God heard your prayer. Although God heard what Jesus asked Him to do, He sent His Son down there on His assignment. Now I have an assignment for those of you that's not saved. 
that come to Jesus right now. I want to hear those voices out there saying, I will accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Because see, while Jesus was down on his knees, he was praying to be saved. He was praying because his job was for you to go be saved. He wants you to come and come to Him right now. He wants you to give all that you have and forget about all the things that's, that, that you got on your mind and in your heart right now. Get down on your knees and pray and ask the Father to forgive you and ask to be saved. Yes. But, but Jesus asked three times mm -hmm. to, for that cup to be removed from Him. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, He gave His life for us. But you can tell by the way He was praying in the garden that it was a, a hard thing to do. You know, he, he showed you the human side of Him. Yeah. The side that tells you that 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 is something that you can't bear, something you don't want to do. How many problems do we go through? You know, some people that they, they lost their children with COVID-19. They think they can't make it. Some people lost their children to cancer. They think they can't make it. Some people even called on God before this happened, but God let them die anyway. And you think it's your fault or you think that God was wrong but look at what God done to his own son he allowed his son to be captured to be betrayed by one of his good friends he allowed his son to be handcuffed and beaten and flogged and he and his face ripped up and, and until you couldn't recognize him. he had to look down and watch just think about what you're going through now think about what God was going through when he was allowing his son to go through that so that your life may be saved yeah. think about what God did he had his own hands tied because he promised the world that he would not drown him again in with the 40 days and 40 nights. No more Noah's. But instead he took his only begotten son and gave him so that you may have everlasting life. And right now that life is supposed to be in you. God did what he had to do to give you life. Will you do what you have to do to give your life back to God? Will you do what you have to do to, for someone else that God may intervene and help you? God asking you to pray. God asking you to love. God asking you for peace, joy, and kindness. God asking you that, that all this racial injustice, that it can be stopped upon this earth right now. But you got to change your heart. you got to change your mind. Lord wants your soul back. He don't want you going in the other direction. He don't want you in a plate of fire. He wants you right with Him in a nice, clean place, in a nice place that's made of gold and silver and all the jewels. God wants you with Him, and He's asking you right now to accept His Son in your life. Listen to me, people. Accept Jesus. Accept Him in your life right now. Give Him the, the, the power over you so that you may have power over the devil. Yeah. Right now, you're giving all your power to the devil out there. All you fornicators, you drinkers, the homosexuals, all y'all are giving your power to the devil. God wants you to have your own power. He yeah. gave you dominion over the earth. He gave you the power. Yes. I want to tell you something. There's something great out there for you to do. Mm -hmm. It's one of the greatest things that you can do. And that great thing is to give your life to Christ yeah. right now. To get on your knees and say, Lord, please, help me, please save me please yeah. you know there's a lot of people out there that's drinking there's a lot of people out there that's doing all kinds of things on this earth that are not godly we need those people to come to jesus right now we need them yeah. right now to come to jesus because the time is wrong it's going fast that jesus is coming back and when he come back and he blow that trumpet and then you hear that sound you know the dead is going first and then he's going to call us up, Lord. Right now.
I've been looking and watching all this COVID-19 COVID and all these viruses and I'm watching and I see that left behind where one is gone and the other one is still here and it's hurting people to their heart and people are killing themselves because they're losing their children. People are really going down because things are happening in this earth that they never thought would happen before. Yeah. Right now these people who are evil and mean, who, who invented this virus, those are the ones that are going to suffer most because God has His mind and His hand all made up yeah. that the wicked will not prevail at this time. All of those that have not given their life to Christ, have not changed their wicked ways. Trust God right now. Yeah. Trust Jesus right now. Yeah. Feel the fire of the Holy Spirit yeah. right now in your yeah. soul. If your soul is burning, get on your knees right now and give yourself to Jesus. Let me tell you about you, your backbiter, your people who went back out into the world. Let me tell you what you got to do. You got to ask God for forgiveness and move on with your life. You got to ask God for strength. You got to ask God for the power to get back out there and live your life fully and wholly. God is a man of, of that do not lie. He gave you promises. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I'm just John. My wife is just Juliet. And you know what God told Moses? Moses was talking about, who shall I say, come. God told Moses that he was nobody. But God said, I am that I am. And God told us that he is that he is. All right. We're not nobody. I'm on here because I have a fire burning into me to reach for souls to be All saved. Right. To take them to the Lord in prayer. Yeah. I'm looking for those that want to be healed. Yeah. I'm looking for those that need God in their life right now. Those that want to put the drugs down. Those that want to put the alcohol down. Those that want marriage to be stronger in their lives. Yeah. Those that want to be fulfilled. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Oh, hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. the Lord. Give God the glory and give Him the thanks that He can save you. Yeah. Give God the thanks. Turn your hearts to God. Turn your minds to God. Turn yeah. your souls over to God. Give yeah. God the glory. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Hallelujah. 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 What have I got to shout about? Because at one time, I was a sinner down in the miry mouth. Yeah. I used to do drugs. I used to drink. I was a sinner. I used to be a liar. I used to be a thief. But I don't know, but right now I do know this while I'm here in the fire yeah. that I feel good. I know that I'm not a liar and I'm not a thief anymore. I know I'm not an alcoholic. I know I'm not a, a, a drug addict. But let me tell you what I am. I'm a child of God and that's what I'm calling you to be. A child of God yeah. coming to the kingdom. And while this fire is going on right here, you can be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let your fire be filled in your soul yes. so that you can be healed. Yes, yes, yes. Give God the glory. Yes, Father. Give God the glory. I'll give God the glory. There was a young man who used to live confused, who didn't have a direction. He turned to alcohol and drugs because he didn't know which way to turn. Right. Let me tell you about this young man. As he was growing up, he used to go through this, he'd go through this time period where he was depressed, where he didn't understand why he was taken from his mother, why his sister was taken from him. Let me tell you about this young man who grew up thinking that nobody loved him, nobody cared for him. He didn't even think that God cared for him, but God showed him that God loved him because God put him in a family that took care of him, that treated him just like the rest. Yeah. Nobody knew the difference that we wasn't brothers and sisters. But let me tell you what God will do for you. God will engraft you into this family. Yeah. And all of us together will be brothers and sisters. Yeah. And all of us together will have the blood of Jesus. Yeah. And that's the only blood that we need. Yeah. Whether we're black, white, green, purple, and orange. No yeah. matter what color we are. We got God on our side. But yeah. brothers and sisters, we have to come together. We yeah. have to reach those souls that need to be saved. We have to feed the hungry. We have to look out for the widows. We have to go help the fatherless. 
mighty God. God want us. God want us people. Yes. God want us to work for Him people. Yes. God don't want you working for just anybody. On your job, you got to work for God. On your in your neighborhood, you got to work for God. Yes. Wherever you live, you got to work for God. Wherever you be, you got to work for God. Yes. Yeah, God is the general of the army. Yes. The Bible says, "In the beginning, God created yes. the heaven and the earth." So, in the beginning, your general created what you needed here on earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Jesus was in that garden praying because Jesus had a task, a mission to fulfill. Yes. And that mission was for you to be saved. No matter what it took, no matter what he had to go through, he had to go through this so when he died, he can come back to life so that you can be saved and go sit on the right hand of his father so that when you have a problem, mm -hmm. Jesus had nobody to take his problem to the right hand of the father right. because he was the mediator right. and the mediator didn't have a mediator, but right. the mediator called on his father anyway. But now the mediator went back up to sit on the right hand and now he's your mediator yes. for you to call on his name, yes. for him to take your burden to his father. Yes. And see, when you get out on your knees with your burden and you pray in the name of Jesus, when God lift that burden and give you an answer, you get out there and do what you have to do. Yes. You take that answer and you feed it in the direction it needs to go. Yes. Let me tell you, God is a good God, an awesome God. I want everybody out there to feel the fire of the Holy, yes. Holy Ghost. I want you to feel the burning. I want God to touch your soul. Yes. I want God to touch your heart. Yes. I want God to touch your body. Yes. You know, there's people out there with arthritis. They need a touch of God. Yes. Touch them, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes. There's somebody out there with high blood pressure. They need their blood pressure regulated. Touch them, God, in the name of yes. Jesus. There's somebody out there that's been paralyzed who want to get up and walk. Touch them, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes. There's somebody out there that just got in a car accident and they're in a coma right now. They laying in a hospital in a coma. And I'm asking God to touch them right now, yes. God, and wake them up. Yes. I'm I'm asking you with the bad kidneys. I'm asking you to give yourself to Christ. Right. I'm asking you to ask God to heal you in the name of Jesus right now. Touch him, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm asking you right now to feel that fire, that burning fire that God has put Hallelujah. in us. It's called the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. But when Jesus left the earth, he said, I'm going to, God's going to send you a comforter. Yes. And the comforter is the Holy Spirit. The Holy yes. Spirit is right here on earth. He's yes. right here waiting to teach you waiting you to show you how to be healed, waiting yes. you show, to show you where to go. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want everybody to just lift their hands to thank Christ and say, thank you, thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Jesus, thank, thank you. you Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Feel the fire, people. Feel the fire. You can be healed, everybody. God can heal you. You don't need the medicine from the doctor. You don't need nobody to stitch you up. You don't need a whole, your heart to be repaired. You don't need your lung. God can replace it all. But you've got to have faith and trust Him. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. 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 While Jesus was praying, the disciples were down sleep. Yeah. Because they had a long, busy day and they were tired. But Jesus knew, he knew, he knew that they were tired. Because mm -hmm. the last time he said, get your rest, because he knew what was coming. Mm -hmm. Judas was leading the soldiers to him. And let me tell you, when you have someone that you love betray you, it's a hurting feeling. Mm -hmm. But as you read in the scriptures, 
Jesus said that Judas betrayed him, but he still called him friend. Yeah. Never, ever get caught in unforgiveness. Forgive him. Yeah. Love him. Jesus said, love your enemy. Give God that glory and that praise. God said, vengeance is mine. All right. It belonged to God, not you. Yes. Give your life to Christ. Get healed. Be saved. God bless. God loves you. See you at another time. Amen.